Well, this morning I woke up and I was amazed to hear that there's a coup <coughs> in Turkey. The government has uh, lost control. There's quite a few people that have been killed. And, of course, the world's going crazy. In France, we've got some lunatic who decides to drive through a crowd with a truck, uh, gets out and shoots people, and the police officers have shot him dead. Uh, it indi <coughs> indications are that he really wasn't a Muslim, but in fact a mentally disturbed person. So, you know, there, there are going to be plenty of people in this world that are going to be pointing a f the finger at uh, Muslims. The country of uh, Tunisia, uh, I looked it up, not that I know anything about Tunisia. I had to have a look where it is. Uh, and I noticed that 98% of it is, in fact, Muslim. So whether he was actually raised as a Muslim, I don't know, nor do I really care. Um, his family said that he was, in fact, mentally disturbed. And, of course, uh, that's, that's terrible if a person uh, has got a mental illness and doesn't get treated. Um, my comment is simply, what a wonderful country we live in. Uh, we wake up each morning and our biggest concern is, uh, well, is the internet going to be fast? That's really all we're concerned about because, you know, we don't have the problems that other countries have and we don't want the problems. We don't need them. Uh, years ago, I was insulted by someone and I said to them, I said, listen, um, where were you born? And, and the, the reply was that uh, they were born in Canada. And, uh, and I said, well, can you please go back because we have enough cunts here that we uh, produce. We don't have to import any. She looked at me and she said, how dare you? How dare you? And the husband was there too. And I said, mate, you should go uh, back to Canada with her if uh, you are Canadian because uh, we um, breed your type too. So uh, stand up to these people. Tell them where, they, where to go. If you don't like it, move on. And uh, if you do like this country, well, just think how grateful you are that you don't have the problems that the French are having or the Turkish people are having or the Greeks uh, or even the Italians at this moment are having a problem. Uh, interestingly enough, I noticed, I read an article, which I don't know whether there's any truth to it, but... Uh, the, the Italian government have uh, called on the, uh, the famous Italian boys to uh, help uh, try to isolate and locate those extremists that want to work against them. So now the ISIS group, have not, any, not only have they got the Italian government against them, but apparently uh, the mafia now is also on board and they're working together. If that is the case, that's probably the first time the mafia and the Italian government are working hand in hand as unity, trying to weed out a problem which I think is going to get out of control. Um, it's a shame we don't have it here because there's no mafia in Australia. It's, everyone's clean and innocent and there's no corruption here. There's no crime here. There's no drug problem here. There's no alcohol problem. There's no domestic violence here. Uh, we're just living a life of, um, well, privilege. And it's paradise here, isn't it? Yeah.